cherry on the top which I do have, and also you could use guava paste, which I'm going to be using all three. I'm going to be making different. Um, so before I go on, I want to let you guys know this is an open collaboration hosted by Dallas Red and Beth from Carolina Sweet Treats and Foodies. Guys, I will link their channel in my description box. There's a lot of people that are going to be participating. As you guys know, I've been absent out of YouTube. I was moving. As you guys can see, I'm in a different kitchen. It's a very small kitchen. So behind the scene, it's a whole different story because I still have boxes um, all over the place. But that's besides the point. Let's get with um, the recipe. In a bowl, you're going to combine your butter, your sugar, and your vanilla into cream, okay? So guys, I'm gonna be turning on my mixes. I'm gonna combine those three ingredients and I'm gonna come right back because my dogs, they don't like the mixer, they go ballistic. So I'll be right back. All right guys, you're gonna mix your butter and your sugar and your vanilla into, it's nice and fluffy. I'm still gonna keep mixing. Make sure you scrape your balls on the side so I'm gonna be mixing, so um, so I'm going to keep mixing, so I'll be right back. I'm sorry guys, I'll be right back. Okay, at this point, it's nice and fluffy, so we're going to add the flour slowly. But since I don't want it to go through my whole entire kitchen, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add flour. I'm going to mix it a little bit like this, and then I will use the, the mixer for the rest. Because if I don't, it will go all over. So we're going to be doing this. So into it's nice and incorporated, and then I'm going to use the mixer for the rest, okay? So I will keep doing that. So let me do that. Let me mix the flour in there, and I'll be right back. All right, got my dough is done. As you guys can see, it's got to be a... a, a hard dough, not runny. So guys, um, my hands are clean, of course, and I sanitize them. I have sanitizer right there on my sink and I wash them to take out the alcohol out of my hand. So you're gonna make a dough, like so you could be able to grab it. And guys, you're going to be making some, you don't have to cool it down or anything. It's up to you, you wanna put it in the refrigerator. So it should, it should give you, you should be able to make 20 to 25 little balls. So guys, make your little balls. And then um, you're going to, um, with your thumb, so, you know, with your thumb, you're gonna make a little, little hole like this. And you're going to be placing it, placing it in your bake sheet. Uh, make sure that you have one inch apart from each cookie. So I'm gonna do that. And I'll be right back, okay, guys? So, of course, I have to grab my rack to post you guys. All right, guys, for batch going into the oven, like I said, you're going to bake for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven, keep an eye on them. So, guys, I will gonna come right back at you with the final results. And remember, this is an open collaboration hosted by Beth from Carolina Sweet Trees and Foodies and Dad from the Dad Lies Red channel. And like I said, guys, I will link both of their channels in my description box so you guys can go and check them out. And I'll be right back. Guys, I am back. And here I have to present you my polvorones cookies, traditional cookie that I grew up eating in Puerto Rico. And I hope you like my Christmas tree. 
Here you go. My three tier cookie tray. And I will be placing this on the table for Santa. So guys, I hope you like my recipe. I will place the recipe in the description box. Guys, this is the first time that I try um, baking in this oven since I moved in. And a cookie that take um, 25 minutes, it took almost an hour. Yeah. So like I say, make sure <clears throat> depends what type of oven did you have and that how your cookie is going to bake. It's supposed to be golden brown, but they are done. I try one. Guys, the only thing with these cookies is you cannot just eat one. You're going to like them. Anyway, guys, it will be into the next one. Beth, Dot, thank you for hosting. And it will be into the next time. And I will leave it like I always say. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile. Overall, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you. And Debbie also loves you too. It will be into the next one. Bye bye, guys. I'm sorry, guys. It's not over. This is how it's going to be sitting on my table. Let me turn off this big light so you guys can see how I decorated the table. So, what do you guys think? Is that nice? I like it. Well, back here. The cookies are still warm, guys, so that's how come I put it in the tear tray because I don't want to make you guys keep waiting. So, um, I'm going to be using my teapot for Christmas. And, of course, back here is the cookie yard. This is where I will be placing the cookies when they cool down. Over here is the creamer. Over there is the sugar bowl for cinnamon or whatever others you would like to put in your um, coffee. I like to put cinnamon and um, powdered sugar in that one so that you use for whatever other cookies. It doesn't have to be these types of cookies. But guys, I hope you like it. And now I'm going to say bye-bye, guys.